So I get a lot of questions about my rope scrapes. How do I make them? What do I use? This is going to be a video for that. We're also going to set up a new scrape today. I've already done the prep work. I got the rope and a zip tie. So what I'm looking for is a good flat area. This is right on the edge of a clover plot for me. This isn't really going to be a scrape tree that I'm going to want to shoot a deer on, but it's going to be a scrape tree for inventory. So what I have here is a limb that's over my head. Eventually there's a natural scrape right here on this branch last year. Well, when the leaves fall off and they start to lift, lift up, those deer can no longer reach this. So this was only hit until about mid-October when all the leaves came off and this whole branch lifted up. So that's where the rope comes into play. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang this rope, take a long strand of rope. What I do is I take it, the whole roll of it, I hang it up here with two strands like this and I want that to be about a little bit lower than my hip, almost mid thigh. So when this whole branch loses its leaves and it lifts up, I'm still gonna have plenty of rope hanging down here so the deer can make a scrape. So I've got that pre-cut already. All I'm gonna do is find where I want it on this branch. Make sure it's in half. And it really just depends on the limb that you're using. This one's pretty small. I made a couple loops around that. Now I'm going to take the zip tie. Make sure this rope stays tight. And zip tie this as tight as I can. And zip tie that as tight as I can. Those deer will not be able to get that off there now. They're going to be able to have something to scrape on, rub their antlers in. You can see it kind of makes that droop down even more. So when that tree, when this tree loses its leaves, it is going to lift up and those deer are still going to have something right at their level to use as a licking branch. All I'm going to do is cut this tag end of the zip, the zip tie off. Take that home with me. And you can see the products that I use, I'll drop them right here. It's a scrape fix product. I like the Scrape Fix Ignite. I haven't used this Chillax stuff yet, but all I do is I take those bottles, I open up the top of the bottles, and I just dip the frayed ends of the rope down in there, let it soak up. Those deer will be coming to this camera, they'll be chewing on the ends of those, does and fawns will be hitting them, and by the time the bucks are just about ready to come to velvet, they'll really start tearing this up. One thing that I found that really helps when making mock scrapes is getting the ground to bear dirt. It's not necessary, but those deer, for sure, they like to have that dirt exposed. It also sends off a couple scents. Deer are interested in just bare spots, freshly worked dirt, stuff like that. So another secret tip that I do, once you get it down to dirt, drink plenty of water, pee in this scrape, and especially during season, pee in this scrape, and those bucks will work this like crazy this year. I'm excited for this one.